Okay, taking a look at this one now. Um, because it's squared, right? Because it's squared, I can square root the whole thing. So I square root the entire thing here to get um, 11x plus 4 equals, uh, because we square rooted an item, it's now plus or minus, and I have the square root of 72. Well, before I simplify that, uh, to get x by itself, since it's a positive 4, I need to subtract 4. So I subtract 4 on both sides to get rid of that. So now I have 11x equals, and whenever you're doing this, put the numbers out in front of the plus or minus. It'll make your job a little simpler. So I have negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 72. Since 11 times x, now I can divide both sides by 11, so they're canceled out. So this is what I have, except here's what I want you to do. Can you simplify square root of 72? Well, 72 I can rewrite as 9 and 8, and 9 simplifies to a 3. 4, or sorry, 8 into root 4 and root 2, and root 4 simplifies to 2. So 3 times 2 is 6, root 2, so really our answer is negative 4 plus or minus 6 root 2 over um, 11 is our final answer there. Negative 4 plus or minus 6 root 2 over 11. To solve this problem, I once again square root both sides because I'm trying to get rid of the squared. So that's gone. So I have an 8x plus 6 equals the square root of 56. So uh, as a plus or minus, because whenever you square root, you get a plus or minus. So since it's plus 6, I would subtract 6 on both sides. And just like the last problem, it's an 8x equals negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 56. And 8 times x, that's like saying now divide both sides by 8. So this is what we have as our answer, except I need to try to simplify 56. So um, I realize that 56 I can separate into 8 and 7. And the square root of 8 I can simplify into root 4 and root 2. So root 4 is 2, so here's what I end up with. 2, root 7, and a root 2. Well, that becomes root 14, because remember, I want one number and one root. I don't want a whole bunch of roots. So my so far, I end up with negative 6 plus or minus 2 root 14 over 8. But I can divide a 2 out of all those. So I get a negative 3. I divide a 2 out, so I just have a root 14. I divide a 2 out of that to get 4. So there is my official answer right in there. With this one I square root it as well. So I square root both sides there to get rid of those. So I end up with 7x minus 1 equals plus or minus the square root of 90. Right? It's plus or minus square root of 90. Um, I add one to both sides, so I'm trying to get x by itself to get 7x equals, remember to put that before the plus or minus, square root of 90. Um, 7 times x, that means I should divide both sides by the 7 to get that all alone. And the last step here is to simplify that. And a 9 and 10 is the first thing that comes to mind to me. Square root of 9 we know is 3. I can't take that down anymore because it would give me two different roots, right? It would give me something like this. Why do I want an answer that has two roots in it? So my official final answer here is 3 root 10 because there's no point of doing that over 7. And there's your answer. Okay, um, doing this problem uh, is just like the ones we did before. We can try to slide and divide if we wanted to. 
um, to see about solving the problem here. Um, but just as a quick look, if I slide that over, I end up getting x squared plus x plus 6. And can you think of two numbers that multiply to give you 6 that add to give you 1? I can't off the top of my head, right? So, means we're going to use the quad quadratic formula. So negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac um, over 2a. So it's negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times 3 all over 2 times 2 because a is 2. Oops, sorry, a is 2, so that means that's a 2 right in there. So underneath the root is you know, getting negative 23. So I get negative 1 plus or minus square root of negative 23 over 4. And remember, just pull it out. Negative 1 plus or minus i root 23 over 4. And you can't simplify that any farther. That is a prime number already. So there is your answer. And when we come back here, I will try to uh, um, finish off some more of uh, these uh, problems and with uh, some roots and complex numbers.